Ladies and gents, Middle Harbour Adventure once again. Perfect. I think we might start off here tonight along this beach section. What do you guys reckon? I think this might be good. I'm liking this light. It's making this look really lit up. So let's go check out and see what we can throw. Let's go put it down here as best a place as any other place. I reckon tonight I'm going to start off with using some of these power baits. Now, it's a jerk shad style and it's white. But you know what, actually it's better to just show you than explain. You know what they say, what a picture is worth a thousand words. A video is worth what? A billion? Bruh. <laughs> just my head torch. Let's get down on the sand. Ugh. There we go. So it looks like there's a party out there. And hopefully the fish are looking for a party as well. Big cast. Got a one eighth ounce on there. Oh, a little hit straight away. Oh, got a hit there. There's definitely something happening out there. We're already on. Oh, drop that. Oh no. <laughs> Just as we thought. Most definitely Taylor. Well, that looked pretty promising there, except that it was just a bunch of Taylor hits. Couldn't even hook one, so we're just gonna walk, make my way along the beach and fish this slightly darker section. I reckon it might be a little bit better. Maybe, yeah, maybe less Taylor on this side. All right, might as well try here. Any place here, as good as any other dark spot. Let's cast it out in front and see what happens. Wind's dropping off a bit as the night gets uh, further and further into it. Looks like we've got a full moon, but you'd never guess that that's a full moon. Look up there. Look at that. <laughs> All right, feels like I've walked about half. Oh no, we just dropped it. Oh. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Oh no. I was about to say we walked about half a kilometer to get that hit and we just dropped that fish. <sighs> Man, just made my way across the beach to this little rocky section where I had to walk all the way around. Check that out, there's a squid right there, calamari. I've got a hard body on though. I don't know if it'll want it. I'm gonna want my hard body. <sighs> got a little squid jig here. Now, if I actually catch it, I'll be so surprised. But if we get it, I can use him for a future Jewfish session or Kingfish session or something. All right, there we go. Tied on. Is all right. There he is. There he is. There he is. Let's go put the squid jig. Oh, he's sea slug. Sea slug here. See. Right here. What is that? Is that a baby PJ? Right over here, this one. Whoa! Anybody that knows, write it down in the comments section. I don't know what that one was. Gone. Like, those Taylor were busting up and now they're all gone. They just... They just deserted us. Mate, besides from the rain and the cold, the beach is pretty nice at night. Here we go, just twitching this lure. Twitch, twitch. It's suspending, so I don't need to do much. It's quite shallow out here, in fact. Look at this. Look at these shells that end up on the beach. It's an empty one. <laughs> yeah. Finally, finally, finally. We're hooked up. I don't know what it is, I reckon it's a flatty. Let's see what we got on the double clutch. What is that? It's coming under the waves. It's just right there. I might pull it. It looks like a nice flathead. Yes. There it is. Here's a closer look at it. My lure got sent like what? 20 meters up? No, not 20 meters, but it got sent up here. I thought it snapped off. It's right there. Look at that. We'll lay it against the fish. Yeah, he's, he's kicking back. He wants to go back in the water. Let's go do that. I thought I was going to get my first fish on the plastic, but it looks like it's on the hard body, which is nice. Uh, send it back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, on. 
Here we go. Here we go. This is going to be number two. Oh man. Who cares about plastics when the hard bodies are working? Winter conditions. These don't have the strongest trebles, by the way. They haven't got the strongest hooks. I'm just using the wave action to bring it in. There it is. There he is. He's just right at the break of there. Wave. Oh. Next wave, next wave, next wave. He's just there. Next wave. He's swimming back out. Oh, we need a strong wave. There we go. He can't fight that wave. Running in, running in, running in, running in, running in. <sighs> oh yes. Number two. Whoa. Is this one a little bit better than the last one? <sighs> you really need plies get oh look at that. One of these trebles has snapped. Oh two of them have snapped. Both trebles have snapped. That's not good. I don't want to retire this lure just just yet. Boop. That treble demolished. Nice fish for a catch and cook, huh? Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Future session. There he is. Wet shoes. Getting that sand off my reel. I left my stuff up the beach, up that end, so I'm just going to go grab it now. There's a lot of rain. When you're desperate, you go take trebles off another lure. And you get split ring pliers and you put it on this lure. That's what we've just done. There we go, look at that. Mismatched trebles, but that shit will do. Jesus, rain's just picked up. It's just calmed down. I'm just gonna hide under here for the moment because it's just been insane. Now, if I haven't explained already, I was using this Daiwa double clutch, which is a suspending hard body. These crazy waves back again tonight. Last night, got blown off this place. Actually got rained, it was just so crazy. Had, had to just call a session short, so we have to come back and finish it. Looks like the conditions are real rough now. Look at this. Look at the water. It's over sand that's not supposed to even be wet. This is insane. Anyway, we're going to start off again with the lure that we were having success with. So we'll see what happens. The double clutch. All right, what do we got here? There's a bit of weight, but no shaking, nothing. All right. Got a bit of weed and a bit of rock here. First thing of the night. <laughs> Look at that little microscopic crabs on this thing. Look at that right there. You're gonna throw it back in the water. <laughs> Got some massive waves, there's a gap in the waves here. Let's get down and smash that out. Oh yeah. It's the only way to get a big cast out. You gotta get it out beyond these breakers. Just gonna slow lift that vibration into the lure here. I'll just change to a little stick bait, sinking stick bait. See how this goes. It's heavy, so, well, relative for its size, so it's giving me that big cast. Yep. Oh, slow lifted into that one. We've got an Oz tackle on. I was all right against the shore. What is this? Ah, it's a tailor. <laughs> Got me really excited there. Had to take off the um, had to take off the little double clutch because you can see the waves are just like smashing the lure. And I changed to this little sinking stick bait here. I've got the exact name, but it's from Oz Tackle. I've used it, um, I think once a long time ago. So this is probably the second time I've used that lure. Look at that. Green eyes, like a green eye calamari. <laughs> surely, surely this will work. Surely. All right. While I peg this out, get down there, cast, and then run back before I get wet. Jeez, look how quickly it comes up. Just walked on that end, had a cast. I'm gonna go up this end here. I must say, with these crazy waves, I think this is the first time I fished a place where there's been really strong wave action at night, especially in the estuary. Yep. Yes. Oh, I just made a bit of a change, quick lure change here. Oh, 
look at that, it's fighting me well. Hey, is this fish of the night? Just in the breakers here. Flat it, I think. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. Look at that, what's that on the side of it? It's like some sort of a saw or something. Check that out, that's weird. Flesh wound. Yeah, what was I using? I think I, I was using a vibe and um, and then I changed. It was a little vibe. I think I was using a bunch of lures and then I decided, you know what? Let's go plastics. That's like home cooked meal, you know, very, you know, home comfort sort of thing. And straight away, first cast. Mate, this one's it's actually warm. It feels warm in the hand. Look at that. Boop. Try a squidgy prawn. Euphorsia. That's the color, I think. Starts with E. E for excellent. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Oh. Where's shoe? Oh, anyway, whatever. We're fishing, we're catching fish. Ah, oh, 